Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing a trick that you can use with LibreOffice and AutoCorrect. I'm going to open up a blank LibreOffice writer file. That's the word processor. And when you open up the word processor, you can go to the top and in Tools, you will find AutoCorrect. AutoCorrect in the main is used to correct bad spelling. And let me go down to a line that demonstrates this this one main feature. There are hundreds and hundreds, and there could be thousands and thousands of words in this list. And this word list is built into LibreOffice, but you can add things to it, and you can delete things from it. And you can actually also go in and edit the list, and I will show you how to do that. Let's say, for example, that you misspell the word afraid and you put in two F's instead of one. As soon as you hit enter or space it will automatically correct the spelling of the word. That's the main use of autocorrect. It corrects misspelled words. But in addition to that it also does a few other things like you could make the little tiny uh, superscript trademark symbol TM by typing in open parentheses TM close parentheses and then when you hit enter it will make that symbol and there are other symbols the register symbol the copyright symbol these are used sometimes you can put in the euro symbol let's say you want the uh, uh, arrow symbol created you can do that by putting in the uh, left and then dash dash and it'll turn it into the no kidding symbol however what I am talking about today in the main is that I can make a multi-line return address by putting in dot A. The dot in front of the A is not interpreted incorrectly in any manner uh, because uh, the A usually follows a word. It's at the end of a sentence and when you put a dot in front of a sentence I use this device in order to uh, well they used to call them dot commands in DOS. You used to a long time ago in the early days of computing have oh I don't know there were maybe a hundred of them you'd put in dot LM for left margin 10 dot RM for right margin 80 and so on and the top margin and the bottom margin and the dot commands were used really really extensively before there was Windows with a graphical user interface that handled all of this automatically. Well I just re resurrected this concept of the dot command by putting in dot A and that's going to give me my return address. I don't have my real name and address in here this is just generic you would type in your own. Now please notice up here in the line it's only one line and it appears to be run on. I've got name and address run together with no space in between but actually I have got a line feed in there but it's invisible and between address and city I've got a line feed and between zip and phone a line feed and between phone and email a line feed. So when I type in dot a enter it's going to give a multi line return address and let me do that I shall zoom in on it so you can see it better now I go dot a enter and there it is now I will show you how you can create this because it's a complicated uh, method and it's uh, definitely something you have to memorize or write down and refer to I'll go down to this where it says name address and so forth uh, right here between name and address you will type in the following in order to get a line feed character shift control u a enter I know that is just complicated as all heck do it again shift control u a enter that creates the line feed uh, so let me just uh, show you how it works a little bit differently in uh, the uh, uh, spreadsheet rather than in the word processor. Uh, I had W up there and that brought up writer. I'll put in C and that's going to bring up calc. And I'm just going to do the same thing again. Uh, let me zoom in on it so that it is easier to see. I'm in cell 1A and I'm going to put in dot A and when I hit enter, 
magical. Now it jumped down to cell 2 so I will up arrow and there it is. Here's how it differs in behavior in the spreadsheet. If you go to the input line up here and I'm, I'm at the very beginning NAME watch what happens when I go uh, pass E and right arrow it goes to line 2. Right arrow you see how it works now you can edit it up here I'm going back uh, for example let me see if I can put in the word my name yeah see it works but you cannot go down here and edit it I don't think let me try let me misspell the word address hmm maybe it does work but when you make a new one you've got to go up here so let me give you an example of that I'm gonna type in N A M E now what would happen if you hit enter it goes down to line 2 B 2 and if I'm going to edit this again you see you've got to do most of your editing up here in the input line if you do want to ever edit this entire list this whole business of the autocorrect you can do so and the way you do it is to go into Nautilus and you're going to look for that file and the name of the file is ACOR standing for autocorrect A C O R maybe it's two R's searching searching I should look in the entire computer no there it is now there are several of them and you're gonna have to find the right one because it's quite possible that you've got LibreOffice 3 as well as LibreOffice 4 so here's one that says 78 kilobytes let me right click this and go to properties and let's see what it just says takes a second see where it says home user I'm pop that's the user dot config LibreOffice 3 that's the old one and I'll bet you dollar to donuts this one up here 78 is 4 so right click properties no that one's trash son of a gun well that's just junk let's go to this one properties and there it is it's four alright I'm going to open up this zip file and I'll hit enter here it's working it's thinking it's archiving managing the list is right here it's called documents document list XML now you you know about uh, hypertext markup language this is not hypertext markup language this is only data and the list is just data and it's just transported so let's right click it uh, or I mean tap on it and when I hit enter I think it will open up but in a read only form oh no it went to uh, yeah there it is and this is this is very nice looking and it shows the replacement list in blue is the before and then over here is the after but you cannot you cannot edit this list so the way you do edit this list is uh, when you instead of just clicking on it right click on it and then says open with and let's just open it up with LibreOffice Writer the word processor and the XML file is actually editable and savable and you can add lines to it you can let me open it up 
make it full screen. That, that'll be harder for you to see on YouTube, but uh, it's the same thing, except it's all in black, right? And you can see the before and then after. These are the ones I entered here. This is dot A, and so I've got in quotation, in quotation marks, uh, name, ampersand, uh, hash symbol, X, zero, A. And that's the line feed. Ampersand, hash, X, zero, A. And, uh, oh, and a semicolon, sorry. Now, if you want to, you can save these files. They're just word processor files, and you can add to this list. The reason I say that is, let me close this out altogether again, and I'll open up the word processor and demonstrate one more small thing. When you open up the word processor and try to go to the autocorrect list itself and attempt to just edit the list, it won't let you do that. Uh, the program is not sophisticated uh, in the sense that you can just go to this list right here and edit this line. You've got to go up here to edit this line. So you can't just grab a whole group of them and paste in a whole group of them. You will have to use Nautilus and go to the file itself. Well, that's pretty much all I got. My name is Pop and I thank you very much. I hope this was useful and was interesting. And I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I thank you very, very much.